Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. He does. We saw that last game he got us out of prison. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and welcome back to Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. We're, well, you wouldn't think it, we're actually in France. But looking at all the forestation, you might think we're somewhere else. But no, we are in Paris, in France. Uh, last time we found out that Drake and Sully were not hurt at all. It was actually, Charlie was on our side, the guy that shot us at the end of the first part. He was on our side and was working on the inside uh, with, um, with Talbot and actually working against him so uh basically we were selling the ring to try and uh weed out marlo and her gang of mercenaries who are some sort of uh ancient order in the uk that um it sort of went after the bits and pieces and uh, they wanted the ring but we wanted what they had they had like a cipher device uh which uh can be unlocked and decode and used to decode stuff <laughs> with the ring so that's what we were after and we managed to get it we followed them to their underground base and managed to get that cipher uh, and now we have found out um that uh, te lawrence and what they're after what marlo was after is something called the atlantis of the sands it's also called iran of the pillars it's also called uber it's got a, a few different names there is a treasure when i follow this I knew there was a treasure finding a, a river. I thought it was in like the second game or maybe the first game, but no, it's here. We've got an antique wax seal stamp. So we've got ourselves a treasure there. But yeah, um, basically they're after Arama the Pillars. They're trying to look for Arama the Pillars. And they're using the cipher device to try and find that. Um, but now we have the device and we have the ring. So we have everything we need. And we also have T.E. Lawrence's diaries. He was also looking for Atlantis of the Sands years and years ago. So we've got everything we need to find it, and uh, the first stop is here in France. Uh, Chloe Fraser and Charlie Carter are in Syria, I believe it is, is where the uh, is where the other part half of the uh, clue is. Come on through here. And we're in France. Here Chloe is. wanted to come like to France, but notes. no. Have more faith in me, Sully. Alright, so that's the chateau that we're after. So what we need is somewhere I in there. This ravine being on the map. Oh, they must have just put that in. Alright. Come on, we'll find another way around. I don't think we'll survive that somehow. Okay, we've got someone playing a flute. I think if we go up this way. Potentially a treasure over here. Oh yes, hello. Oh, I see it. There we go. It's a ring of some sort. It's a bangle. Gold inlay cameo bangle. Hey, is that a pan flute? It's a flute of some sort. Okay. Right, we should... Yep, we can this get way. around here. Watch your step. Whew. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like Renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Oh, there's a drop there. <laughs> That's good. Didn't realize that. I can see the handholds as well. Right, over we go. Look at Sully trying to sound all intelligent. Right, can we... Okay, we can get over that. Oh, just about. Jump. Right, Sully. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. That's fine. There you go. No problem whatsoever. Whatsoever. Look, Sully, your first car. <laughs> oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Cool. So I work in a um, in like a petrol station. It's absolute chaos at the moment. Let me tell you that because of the whole fuel shortage thing. And yeah, some like so you know you'll get nice cars and then you'll get Astons and Ferraris because there is a Ferrari um, 
showroom not far from where I work, so you get a lot of Ferraris in there, Astons, and some like really old cars as well. Um, oh, okay. I thought that might kill me, but yeah. no. What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty taggy. <laughs> it looks like a drill. It's not a dr It looks like something you use to drill oil. Uh, it's not, but that's what it looked like to me. Um, I didn't mean to actually fall down here. This castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find him. I don't think anyone else knows about this place either. Like, well, well what's in here anyway? So we must be the first ones here. No good? Not getting in this way. Didn't think you would. I bet I can climb up through that hole. Bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. Alright, don't burn the place down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Alright, let's climb these bricks. The red brick, it's good to know the red brick you can climb on. That's handy to know. Uh. Alright. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Yeah, that ain't gonna work, Sully. I wonder if we can go around further, maybe, and look for a treasure. Oh, maybe. Can climb higher. Oh, yeah, here we go. Handy. Some sort of bracelet. Diamond and pearl bracelet. There we go. Right, we're going to find a way to let Sully in now. Old sewing machine there, some mannequins. Uh, mannequins in horror games, just no. <laughs> Silent Hill 3 had like the mannequin thing, and that was terrifying. I think it was about time I played like a proper horror game on this channel, I think. Bioshock had some horror elements, but it wasn't a horror game. I think we need to play something like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, or Outlast. I think, I think it's about time we did that. I'm going to be an absolute baby, but... Oh, dear. I'm gonna be an absolute baby, but I think it would be fun. Crap. Oh, that hurts. Hey, kid, up here. It's chained shut. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Oh, Make he's sure over there. The only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Right. One thing I need to do is go into the options because I don't like the the gun aim in this one. There was something different with the gunfire. I believe on this game and I didn't like it but I don't think I'm sure they had something in the in Uncharted 3 where you could change it back to how it was but I don't think it's in this game because that's just the buttons Okay, yeah. There must have been just for Uncharted 2 and 3, but there was something about the aiming in this game that I didn't quite like, and it was kind of off. And Good. I think it was a change that they'd made okay. between 2 and 3. Gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old key. But they might have fixed it for the remaster. They did have a bit of problem with the shooting when we, when we were in the underground, so... Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh. Right, so that's where we're gonna go, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, we've got to move the beam out of the way from upstairs. So I've got to find a way to climb up. Uh, and there is. Oh, it's over there. Oh, yeah, that's it. We use this. Wait, this will work. I mean, Drake, if you want to. Oh, here we go. We're going to wait for Sully. Prop up this uh, wardrobe for us to climb up. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Oh, yeah, it is. You already saw me fall. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah. Must be how they lowered them down to clean them. 
Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. Okay, we can't. Oh, oops! <laughs> Didn't mean to fall down. I was wasn't sure if there was anything over that way, but I think you just you jump across the chandeliers. So we'll try that. I'll try and make this one a bit shorter because I know the past two have been about forty-five minutes, and I don't want all of them to be that long. Right, so if we we should be able to make that jump. There we go. A little bit finicky, but it's fine. I have an idea. Oh, that's cool. yeah. Anything else over here? No. Okay. Right, so we can jump back on to that one. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. It's fine. Yeah. There we go. Right, so now we can push this beam out of the way from up here. A little bit easier to do it that way. And then we can drop down. Not in like Flynn, that's for sure. He's dead. Good question, actually. I don't know what that is. It's got a clock on it. I've got no idea what that is, though. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. All right, so people have been here. Was it not re not recently? But there's stuff here from like 20th century, I guess. So someone's lived here. Everything's all overgrown, though. There we go. We're in the living room now. Or the lap, well, the hallway, I guess. You've got the big doors there. Okay, just on the lookout for treasures here and there, but I don't remember what they are. I probably have the worst memory of Uncharted 3 of all of them. Not saying it's a bad game in the slightest, though. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That symbol that must be, must be yeah. Nice. The symbol on the building must be a thing as well. Look at us giving Sully some props. He did something good. Uh, oh, hello. I see flashing treasure. What do we got? What was it? Coin. Louis the Sixteenth Louis Door coin. Okay. All right, so we've got a way we can dive out of the window. What's up here? Uh, nothing. Okay, out the window we go then. Oh yeah, I this chateau has got a couple of puzzles in it. I'm sure. Anything behind the piano? No. Yeah, so there's yeah, yeah, there's one or two puzzles in here as well. I remember this. Is it in this room though? No, it's not. It's in the next room. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, come on. Got it. Don't get splinters. <laughs> Don't get squashed either. Thanks. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so here's, here's the first puzzle in the chateau. I know there's a, at least a couple. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. Yeah. That's got to mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. All right. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do. That looks... That looks like someone's just photoshopped someone's face on it. Either that or someone's poking their head through the wall. These face models are probably people that worked on the game. I know some games do tend to do that. Um, we've got these four knights in each corner as well, which look a bit 
conspicuous because some of them are facing like the wrong way or they're facing away or whatever. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Wait, Lawrence made a note about something like this. Right, so we have a look at the T. E. Lawrence stuff. Here, see, four knights with an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star, just like the ones in this room. There we go. Right, so let's go through the books then, because it's always nice to go through these books, and we can go all the way to the start and see what we've got here, because it's always nice to go through these books and see, you know, Easter eggs and memes and stuff like that. Uh, so this is all the way back to the start. You've got the head there um, of the ship, the Golden Hind, and this is the thing about Drake's journey um, that, you know, he supposedly spent so long in Southeast Asia, but he didn't. He actually ended up going to Arabia so we actually took a bit of a detour and then we've got uh, the cipher there long hidden that was the uh, the anagram and then we've got a few drawings uh, more drawings and then we have this so we have Chloe there we have Cutter Cutter with a smiley face as iron sharpens iron so a friend sharpens a friend they call me Silver Fox so apparently Victor Sullivan is the game's Philip Schofield. The holes lock into the cipher disc like a key. Uh, and you've got Marla in the corner there with, was that Devil Horns, I think? Some more drawings. Cycling Tour of France. I don't know who that was for. And a tour of Palestine and Syria. Uh, that's the death of T.E. Lawrence in 1935. Um, he died of a motorcycle accident, but... Uh, in game there's a conspiracy that he was actually killed by the secret order that marlo now fronts and of course the uh the movie as well um lawrence of arabia which um i need to watch really i need to watch that and it's, it's a long one it's like i think it's like oh, almost three hours long maybe more than three hours but i th kind of think i should watch it i don't watch enough classic films So here we've got the bits and pieces in Syria and in France. And here we have the puzzle that we're on right now. And the rest we'll, we'll get to in a bit. So what this looks like is that the knight holding the shield has to face the knight holding the axe. The knight holding the axe has to face the knight holding the shield. So the knight has to face what the weapon is. So this knight with the shield should be facing the knight with the axe, which he isn't. Yeah, but what's the right way? So he has surely got to be facing that way, because he's got the axe. And then the guy with the axe has to face this way, so that he's facing the guy with the shield. So those two should be correct. And then we can look again. So we have a sword, and we have a morning star or a mace. So the morning star has to face the shield... And the sword has to face the axe. So they've both got to be facing to the other side of the room instead of each other. So he, this one's got to face that way. And the other one was already correct. Well, well. A secret passage. All right. Got to hand it to you, Sully. Behind the fireplace as well. He had it spot on. I'll push you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull. Or one, two, three, pull. Just pull. You got it. One, two, pull. One, two, three, pull. Oh, there we go again. Oh, wow. And it just fell into the centre of the earth. We in hell? Oh, okay, the spider webs. Oh, okay, yeah, the spiders in this game. I forgot about the spiders. Oh, I forgot about the spiders. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this could be interesting. Right, again. On the lookout for treasure. There we go. What on earth is that? Art Nouvelle belt buckle. Okay. The hell is that noise? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, I've got to crawl through this gap. And the spider's going to come down, isn't it? Uh-oh. I can hear them. Oh, 
I hate them. Oh, we're underwater. Dive under obstacles. Didn't know you could dive in this game. I forgot again. All right, we're back at it again. Oh yeah, the spider's definitely a thing in this game. And all this is under the shadow as well. I'm amazed it hasn't just collapsed in on itself yet. It's a good sign. It looks like we're coming out in a well. Oh no, this way, Drake. Come on, there we go. Oh, thank God. Way out. All right, I should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh. There we go. Oh, uh oh. Oh crap! It's Marlowe's hench goons. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Why are they all dressed like Agent Forty Seven? <laughs> They've all got Hitman outfits on. Right. I don't know how they got here. They must have followed us, because they couldn't have known about this place. So I don't know how they got here. Let's pull this guy down the well, and let's try and attack this. Hopefully as stealthily as we can. But there's three people there and I only have a pistol. Not anymore, I don't know. Let's get that AK-47. Right. I should be able to stealth this guy out, hopefully. Okay, just about. Right, we'll stick with this gun. Hoping nobody saw me that. Okay, we're good. This guy's facing the wrong way. I don't know how nobody saw that. I think they might have done. Well, now they've seen me. Right, let's get a shotgun. That would help. How did you not die from that? Right, let's get some health back. I saw you. Oh, hello. Okay, someone's got something good as well. Right, 
Right, there we go. Alright, Hitman, come on. There we go. Mr. Agent 47. Oh, who's shooting me now? Oh, there's someone up there. And we're dead. Yeah, the, the, the guns are definitely different in this game. Oh, we've got to do the, this again. Have we? Yeah, we do. And we don't have... We don't have any chance to do any stealth either. Them sorted. All right. No one else behind me at the moment. That's good. Right, hopefully no one knows where we are again, so we can maybe do a bit more stealth. Or not. Right, I don't know where we are. Well, I do, but... There we go. Jesus, they brought a small army with them. Yeah, they did. Is that everybody? We good? <laughs> right, there we go. Let's get rid of them too. Are we okay? Are we there? I think we're good. Right, we've got lots of shotgun shells, so let's use them. Right, now we can have a bit of a look around now that that's all, all out of the way. Let's go for the micro. We'll try that. I'm not going to use the AK right now. We've got lots of shotgun shells. I'm going to try and use them. So, where was that tower? Are we in front of it? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, Talbot and his men, I don't know, did they follow us here? Did they know about this place already? Not entirely sure. May have been followed. But I think this is the way that we want to go. Like we were before. And then through here. Ah, thanks for the gift, boys. Ah, uh, yes. Grenades. Right, so I think they've changed the buttons for the grenades in this game. Either that or I'm just being completely forgetful. So now you hold L1 to aim your grenade and you just let go to um, release it. Which I don't think it was that before. I think they changed the grenade buttons. See that coming. But I, I really don't remember. I might just be in totally forgetful. I'm sure it was just holding L2. But I'm not quite sure. Right, let's get through. Hopefully that is the last of the bad guys for now. Or not. I can still hear them. Sully must be around here somewhere. There he is. Right, just tap L1, you get a blind fire grenade. Like that. Sorry, I'm late. Like Marlo brought a goddamn army. Right, there's a few of them to the middle. Right, 
Oh, someone's behind me. Oh, right. Getting people down the stairs is fun because you end up just killing them straight up. Like a one-hit kill. I like doing that. It's cool. Anything else around here? No. Right. We're back with Sully. That was a good headshot. See, I, the, 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 the gunfights and the shooting definitely feels harder with this game. 100%. Oh, crap. To throw a bracket grenade, press triangle when the bar is in the white region. So you can actually throw grenades back now. That's new. Uh, that was a thing. I threw in my shotgun. Oh, hello. I threw in my shotgun. And we're dead. I threw my shotgun and then I punched the punch him in the face. That was cool. Oh, okay, we've got to do a lot of this again now. That was a poor shot, but whatever. Right, let's try this again. Oh, that was technically a stealth takedown. Right, Sully's back over here. Okay, where is everybody else gone? Here we go. I had to wait for them to load out. Or to, to load at least. Okay, we're hitting people with our shotgun now. Oh, I saw the grenade there, tried to throw it back and I missed. I think it might be a good idea to stay up here from now. Okay, that was a bit funny. Yeah, I've, I think we stay... Oh, hello. I reckon we stay up here and, and before, until we get, get rid of some more people. I think that might be everybody. They must have followed us. Here we go. So there's someone up there that we really need to get rid of. Oh, <laughs> didn't realise I had no more of that micro ammo left. This game is definitely harder. Where are we? I think we might have got a checkpoint. I need to get rid of the guy that's up there. Right, I'm out of bullets for that. Steady. 
How are you not dead? I saw you die. What? Okay, now he's dead. That was weird. Oh, he made him drop a grenade. That's one way to get rid of them. And him. That's got to be a trophy again in this game, surely. Tower's right there. Got to get inside. Right. right. Done. That's good. Uh, I think once we get in there, I think we will end things off there and we'll, we'll, we'll continue this um, hunt through the chateau in the next part. Uh, we'll just have a quick treasure hunt before before we do that. Uh, no. I th no. I think we'll just leave it at that. Right. Let's... Oh, just a quick check in here, maybe. No, okay. Right, let's get in here, and then I think we'll we'll call it a time. We'll call time there. I think. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Come on, Sully, where are you, Sully? Take your time, old man. Come on. There we go. Now. Not really sure. Uh, down seems down. to be the uh, the consensus, judging by the ladders. That's out where we were before, and there's no way up, so we're going down. If there is a way down, yes, there's stairs down here. So I think. Oh, hello. one of Talbot's men. What the hell did that? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. That is really weird. Like, I forgot about that, but... He, like, he looks like he's been here ages. So I really don't... Un I don't know what's happened there. Maybe it was the spiders. Hey. The tile. Being script. All I'll right. Over here so I don't step on any by accident. We've got this whole another puzzle, and this one's a bit of a lengthy one and a bit complicated. So we will pick things up here next time. Um, but yeah, we'll get through the rest of the chateau next time, uh, and we'll start off with with this puzzle. Let me check. He did make some notes. We're going to do it next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on. Um, we'll get this puzzle done next time and we should finish up the chateau next time. And then hopefully we can meet up, up meet back up with Chloe and Cutter. Um, they're in Syria at the moment, sorting out the other half of this. So we'll get this, this um, puzzle done next time and we'll hopefully find what we need here in the Chateau in France. Um, but for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.